In this lecture, we are going to be talking about the three basic musts in the REBT system. It is something you need to understand. It is something that most people will encounter. And the objective is for you to become aware on a conscious level of the three basic types of musts for in case you encounter them in the future, whether it's your advantage or not your advantage, to know how to use them properly or avoid them when necessary. So those three basic musts are the building pillars of general irrationality. The first one is personal, the second one is interpersonal, and the last one is external. Personal, I must do well. Interpersonal, you must treat me well. And external, life must be easy. In the personal must, you think on a personal level that you need to do something, that you must do something, that you must achieve something to win and get the other people's approval. If you don't get this approval, you will consider yourself as a failure. You will consider yourself as not good enough. The interpersonal one is aimed towards your environment. You think that others must indeed treat you in a certain way. And if they do not treat you in the way that you think they must treat you, then they are not good people. And the external must is generally related to life. Your expectations towards life. You must get what you want. You must get what you want, when you want it, wherever you are, whatever the circumstances are. And if this doesn't happen, you fall into the void of negative thinking. So whether it's a personal must and you don't get approval, you will consider yourself as no good. You will fall into negative thinking. Interpersonally, when people don't treat you well, you think that they are not good people and again you fall into negativity. When it's external and you don't get what you must get out of life, you also think that it is not fair and you become miserable, falling again into negative thinking. And all of those are usually based on irrational analysis of the situations. You do not need people's approval when it comes to personal musts. If you are passionate about something and you want to do it, there is no reason for you to wait for other people's approval. It is your life, you control it, and rationally, you do not need external approval. And that does not mean that if you don't get the approval, you are not good enough. If you think about most people who succeeded in life, they started working towards things that everybody else thought is not going to work. They didn't get anybody's approval, not their friends, not the society, not even their parents or siblings. The only approval they need and the only approval you need is approval from yourself. And this is the only way that you'll be good. Interpersonally, when people don't treat you the way they must treat you, whether it's with kindness or whatever way you think you must be treated, that does not make them bad people. That does not mean that they are not good. That does not mean you need to think about this in a negative way. Maybe they are going through some tough times. Maybe they have social anxiety and they don't feel comfortable, at least not yet. Each and every person is different and each and every person will treat you differently. So you cannot have a criteria by which each and every person must treat you, otherwise they will become bad people. And lastly, when it comes to the external must, thinking irrationally and unrealistically can often lead us to becoming miserable. Because when you expect something out of life, and it is a must, and you don't get it, you will not feel happy or joyful and you'll feel miserable if you think irrationally if you've been smoking for years and you've never done any sports and you've been lazy and you never did any kind of running and then you decide that you want to run a 50 kilometer marathon and finish it well guess what if you stop at 10 kilometers and you feel out of breath and you can't do it anymore 
life can't give you what you want. This must, must get what you want when you want it. It's not going to happen because you did not think in a rational, realistic, and objective way. By avoiding those three musts, you can start shifting from irrational negative thinking to where it's positive, realistic, and rational thinking. There are, of course, some basic solutions that you can follow. First, self-acceptance. You need to accept that you have problems, you have flaws, you're not perfect. You have some good things and you have some bad things. But this should not affect your self-worth because nobody's perfect and each and every person has flaws. Therefore, just like they don't need any approval, you don't need it either. You are worthy just like they are. Second, other acceptance. When people don't treat you fairly or they don't treat you the way they must treat you, well, we have to keep in mind something. People act and react differently, and you need to accept that not each and every person will treat you the same way. Accept that different people have different temperaments and different behavior systems, different thoughts and different behaviors, and you need to adapt to that and become socially smart instead of being opposed to something that you cannot change. And lastly, life acceptance. You gotta understand that things will not always go the way you wanted them to go. Most successful people will talk about failing over and over and over again before succeeding. But guess what? The one thing that made them succeed is that they never gave up. They never gave in to this misery and they always made sure to get back up and keep moving forward. They understand that life sometimes is not fair, is not easy, is not pleasant. But as long as it's bearable, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger.